Yo, what is going on, guys? Today, we are playing with Darkrai V-Star. We are revisiting this card because it got some new support in the Scarlet and Violet base set. So I'm really excited to get around to playing with this deck because this is one of my... I really enjoy this card a lot. It's very nostalgic for me. I played with Darkrai EX way, way back in the day, which also had the Dark Pulse attack. So this is very nostalgic for me. It's very reminiscent. It's a spiritual reprint of one of my favorite decks that I used to play a long time ago. For those of you that don't know what Darkrai V-Star does, this deck centers around the Dark Pulse attack. It does 30 base plus 30 more for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So the name of the game is to build up lots of energy on board and then hit really, really hard. You also have the Star Abyss V-Star Power, which allows you to put up to two item cards from your discard pile directly into your hand. So we put lots of really fantastic item cards that enable this strategy to succeed. The main new support, though, that we got from Scarlet Violet Base Set is this new Rev Room. This says discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Fill your hand to six. This is essentially a Crobat at the cost of discarding an energy, which is a really, really amazing. Crobat V, of course, is no longer in the format. So this is an incredible substitute for that card because it gets that dark energy in the discard pile, which is something we want to do, especially since we are playing four copies of Dark Patch. It allows us to accelerate a basic dark energy from our discard pile to one of our bench Pokemon. This is a great way to accelerate extra energy into play so we can ramp up to some massive, massive Dark Pulse attacks. And Rev Room really helps this strategy by getting the dark energy in the discard pile and so does Radiant Greninja. The combination of Radiant Greninja to discard an, uh, an energy and draw two in combination with Rev Room is a great way to get that dark energy in the discard pile. We also have cards like Galarian Moltres V, Big Moltres, with the Dire Flame Wings, which allow us to accelerate a dark energy from our discard pile onto this Moltres once per turn. So this is a free once per turn dark patch onto this Pokemon, which is incredible. It's great support for Darkrai. And you, it has a respectable attack as well, Aura Burn, 190 at the cost of 30 to yourself, but it's definitely a solid backup attacker. Another great Great way we get dark energy into play is Galarian Moltres. Baby Galarian Moltres. I know we play dual Moltres in this deck, but this has the Malevolent Charge ability, which allows you to accelerate up to two dark energy from your hand onto this Moltres when you put it from your hand to your bench. That's effectively plus 60 damage for a dark cry, which is really, really solid. And once again, another amazing backup attacker with Fiery Wrath. 50 plus, it's 20 base plus 50 more for each prize card that your opponent has taken. So if they knock out, let's say, two Darkrai V-Stars, you can promote this Moltres and swing for 220 damage. And if they knock it out, you can use the second Moltres to swing for 270. So it's a really great way to skew the prize trade in the late game, as well as a really amazing alternate attacker yet again. The rest of the list is super straightforward. This whole deck is sitting around getting stuff in the discard pile and drawing more cards. So I've got a lot of four ofs in this deck. Four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, one Pal Pad to recycle our supporters because we are pretty turbo and we do go through our cards fairly quickly. I also have four Trekking Shoes. This is a great way to get extra energy in the discard pile as well as see a few more cards every turn. I'm also playing Pokestop. Once per turn, you can discard the top three cards of your deck and put any item cards you find there into your hand. This is a great way to find your trekking shoes, your dark patches, maybe an extra ultra ball so you can get your stuff on board. I like Pokestop a lot in this deck. I'm a huge fan because guess what? Let's say you hit a dark energy instead of a, an item card. Oh no, the dark energy is exactly where you want it to be. Am I right? Uh, the trainers, once again, very straightforward. I want to gust and I want to discard my hand all the time, which is why I play two boss, two Serena, and four research. Like I said, straightforward, and I'm really a big fan of this build. I also have two choice belts there for that little extra damage output, as well as 13 dark energy to round out the list. I'm still in between adding other trainer cards to the deck, like uh, other tool cards. I really like EXP share in this deck as well. Just a great way to keep your energy in play, so that when a dark cry goes down, the energy stays on, uh, on your board for the next dark cry. So, I'm still messing around with uh, some tool cards there, but other than that, I'm a huge fan of this deck list. Let's get into some games. Now there are a lot of great reasons to actually play Darkrai right now, not just the new Rev Room support, but there are a lot of solid Pokemon in the meta right now that are weak to Dark. 
One of them being Gardevoir EX, a very popular deck weak to dark. Mew VMAX, guess what? Also weak to dark. So you have some really solid uh, Pokemon in the meta that are weak to dark right now. And that, that potentially positions Darkrai to do really well. So... Uh, really solid, like I said, uh, call. And the Rev Room. Oh, the Rev Room is so amazing. It's just fantastic support for this deck. All right. Love my opponent's sleeves. Looks like we're playing against Lost Box Flavor. Okay. Another Dark Energy. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with the Nest Ball. I'm going to guarantee myself the Dark Cry. Uh, I've got my Va Rooms in the deck. Rev Rooms are there. Yeah, we're just going to start off with a Dark Cry and an Attach for turn. Start off with what I know I'm going to do. And then we're going to Concealed Cards. I'd love to get... Uh, okay, we get Trekking Shoes. Um, I would love another Nest Ball, potentially. Dark Patch. Ooh, do I want that? I do want it. But at the same time... I guess it's not super necessary, because... Ne I'm actually, weirdly enough, I'm going to get rid of it. I know that feels kind of criminal. We get an Ultra Ball, though, so that allows me to get a Rev Room down, which is exactly what I wanted, honestly. Because now I can Ultra Ball away these two, and I can grab myself my Vub Room. This is, okay, yes, yes, I'm here for this. And then I can always play the Dark Patch, although my opponent's probably not going to... Uh, Disrupt my hand, but better safe than sorry, right? And then I'm just going to pass to my opponent. Uh, honestly, it's a solid turn one. It wasn't anything crazy, but definitely solid. We got we got a Darkrai down and a Vulroom. And this next turn, we have Darkrai plus Research. So I'm feeling fairly confident, I would say so myself. I wonder if they're playing a Turbo Lost Box build. Or, ooh, throwing that away a Mirage Gate turn one is something I really like to see. I really hope that comes back to bite them. <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's Turbo Lost Box. It could be Giratina. Um, it could be like Charizard. There's so many different flavors of Lost Box, guys. Uh, you never know, honestly. Sableye doesn't tell us very much, right? But... Yeah... Really? Definitely not. Like I said, Beach Court? Ooh, I love the Beach Court. Beach Court helps me out a lot because that gives my Greninja free retreat, which means I don't need to look for a switching card next turn, which is amazing. This turn, I'm trying to think, what's what's the, what's the game plan here? What do I realistic, what do I ideally want in this matchup? Do I feed him the Darkrai? I really don't want my Vub Room to get knocked out. You think he's got a Cram Rant to smack me with this turn? That'd be so bad, wouldn't it? I don't want my Vub Room to go down. Um, is it better to give up the prize card? I, I feel like Darkrai is not bad here. There's no, realistically, there's no way he can knock it out. We do see the lightning. I can't, You gotta just hope that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't spit me with the Cram Rant. He grabbed that card way too quickly for my liking. That was definitely a chorus. Oh, Nest Ball, okay. We gotta keep track. I don't think he's retreated yet, because he played Escape Rope. That's, no, that's all three abilities are out. So I think he did retreat. Did he retreat? Guys, I'm talking too much and not paying attention. Wow. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Grabbing out the Raikou. I mean, that's a free two prize cards right there, my guy. Four Seal Stone, sure, sure. That guarantees the Colrus, which is really unfortunate. Dang, my opponent had the Gnar in their hand. But that is two prize cards. I do not mind seeing the Raikou come down, because that's two prize cards. That'll help me trade more efficiently in this matchup, considering they are, for the most part, a single prize deck. Oh, my opponent gets rid of rope. What, you don't want to rope me into the Gren? Five turn one, man. That's crazy. Five in the Lost Zone turn one. Chill, dog. That's almost to a Mirage Gate, man. That's wild. There's the Cram. And he's going to spit me. Yay. Hmm. Vacuum as well to get rid of his own Beach Court. Six in the Lost Zone. No way you've got, like, double Vacuum, man. Or he can get rid of his Stone now that he's used it. Yeah. 
No way you've got double vacuum and get a turn one Mirage Gate, right? I've seen crazier things. I've s it's happened to me, which is why I'm like, ah, I have anxiety now. If he whiffs the attack, honestly, that would be so, so amazing. No, that, oh, that is seven. Yo, he has seven loss on turn one? What? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Yes, here, have the Greninja. Oh, thank God. Oh, I did not want the Dark Cry to take damage. And this is also really nice. The Greninja cannot be knocked out by the likes of this Crammer, which is really nice. Now, it can get picked off later by Sableye, which is really unfortunate. But at least my opponent's not taking a prize card this turn, which is ideal. Getting another Dark Cry off the top isn't amazing. But I can always rip the research and let's dig into the deck here. We find Pokestop. I find my, uh, my Rev Room here, which is really great. Um, we can always Concealed Cards as well. See a couple extra cards this turn. Ultra Ball's solid. I find the Switch card as well. I can also hit Pokestop. Hmm. I can always Ultra Ball away the two Darks. I could try and go for a Baby Moltres this turn. But I think it's okay to go like this. Not that one. Thank you. Let's go like this. And I think it's okay to grab the big Moltres this turn and kind of get that bad boy set get set up, you know, get set for success here. Building up lots of energy because Moltres can definitely be a solid attacker in this matchup. So there we go. Uh, one there. I can rev room as well. I could bump his stadium. Switch and then rev room for a lot of cards. Yeah, we're going to go into the dark right here. And then I get to rev room for freaking five cards. It's so nasty. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And we get Dark Patch plus a Moltres. That's really good. Um, I'm going to preemptively slap this down. Although it does have 120 and can be knocked out by Sableye. Hmm. Do I hold it? I think I hold it till the turn I potentially need it, right? And we'll start with a Dark Patch there. I have my V-Star power. I can always use my V-Star power. Yeah, that having 120 is not good. Because that's one of my best ways to keep energy on board. I guess I can always just put one on it, right? It's not terrible. Although he can just Sableye next turn. I, yeah, I'm just not a crazy big fan of that. Although if he smacks it with Sableye, he's only taken you know, a prize card, and he st I still have so many other multi-prize Pokemon in play. I'm actually going to do it. Let's do it. And then I can hit the Pokestop, and let's see what we get. Come on, baby. Show me the money. All right, well, that wasn't ideal. <laughs> Unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, do I want to get out another Darkrai here, or do I want to go, like, double Moltres route? Getting out a second Darkrai is not terrible, especially because it's pretty beefy. Let's go with the second Darkrai route here. I could always Star Abyss as well and get double Dark Patch back. Man, I'm doing it. I'm going to Star Abyss. We'll get back double Dark Patch. That's exactly what this ability is for. It synergizes so well with the, uh, with the Dark Patches, man. It's just what it's meant to do. We can go Dark Patch there. And then I can Dark Patch here. I guess I could spread my energy, right? Yeah, I think it's fine here. What's he more likely to chase down? I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. We can go there. And then uh, I can Dark Pulse for 240. 240 turn two? Not bad. It's definitely not bad. Uh, this deck does do a little better in a multi-prize decks for this very reason right here, you know? I can trade really effectively because that was a turn two, 240, which means I was I would have been able to take out a two prize Pokemon very easily. So really, really nice. Wow, I'm really impressed. That's what I'm saying. The combination of Rev Room plus Greninja is so filthy. Really, really loving it. Okay, water energy there. My opponent's going to be doing all of... Guys, I don't need to explain to you what's happening. If you guys have played the format for any amount of... A few months or since Lost Origin came out... God, I say a few months, but it's been... It's been like, what, six months since Lost Origin's been out? Something like that? It's been a while. Six plus. 
since Lost Origins been out, you are very familiar with Comfey and what it does. You know, look at the top two, throwing in the Lost Zone, just turboing through the deck, building up to their big attacks, like uh, attackers that are powered up by the likes of Mirage Gate. Here comes the Sableye, here comes the Mirage Gate. Now, I'm trying to figure out what that Sableye is. I mean, does he, he probably goes, what, 20 here and then the rest here, or maybe puts the math on the Rev Room? maybe chases that down that's definitely an option i have boss this turn to chase down that raikou as well if he puts the raikou the raikou doesn't knock me out which is very nice by the way the raikou cannot knock me out that's the nice another nice thing about dark cry right it's weak to grass grass is not a good type right now and doesn't have a crazy amount of support or i mean it doesn't have a crazy amount of super powerful cards so, I mean, Darkrai doesn't really have much of a weakness, I would say, right? So, really, really solid there. Even the other Moltraces are weak to grass and not something like fighting. So, really, like I said, super solid. Like, in theory, Darkrai is positioned very well in the meta. The scary thing is if you don't get your Dark Energy in the discard pile, man, it is rough. It's, it's brutal, and that's an understatement, so... Let's see, Nest Ball gets out the D-Knight. Now, D-Knight with a Choice Belt can knock me out. But, oh. Oh, he got rid of a Clara, but he, he did get a Switch card, which does kind of suck that he was able to get that. But I don't think, oh, my opponent just passes. Oh, let's go. Oh, my gosh, that's so good, guys. Okay, so. I'm definitely going to boss this turn with, with, utmost certainty i'm going to boss's orders i'm definitely chasing down this dragonite this turn no question no questions asked um i'm gonna boss if i so if i equip my choice belt i don't really need it but i could always equip it here if i go boss first and then i rev room Rev Room sees me four cards. Guys, I'm so... This is such a good card. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, we can, that hand is cracked. And then we can Concealed Cards. Let's go. And then we can Malevolent... Or Dire Flame Wings, sorry. Get an extra energy on board there. Uh, I think I want to hold my energy for this baby Moltres the following turn. I really like holding on to it. Because we're doing a lot right now. 270, we do 280... Like, we, we could do a lot of damage. I want to hold the Pokestop, though, as well. I can always Trekking Shoes. Let's Trekking Shoes. Do I want that? I kind of want it in my hand for following turns for the Baby Moltres. I am going to put it in my hand. I know it sounds kind of crazy because I typically want it in my discard pile. But I've already used my V-Star power, right? I, I've already used three Dark Patches. So it's actually better for them to be in my hand at this point. And then we just Dark Pulse and make a huge knockout on this Dragonite. Let's absolutely go. Oh my gosh, we're we're getting pretty far ahead here. This is what I like to see from Darkrai. We do find another Dark Patch. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I'm hyped, dude. E yeah, even when he takes a knockout this next turn, that just opens up a bench space for my next Moltres. Do it. I want you to knock me out. Oh my gosh. But that's the thing. If I'm baiting him to knock out these, low these little single prize Pokemon... That means he's not taking down my big Darkrai, my Moltres. He's not taking multiple prize cards there. Keep in mind, guys, I have a Serena in my hand to take down this Raikou this next turn. So, oh, I'm so here for it, guys. Let's go. There's a Lost Mine. Yeah, spread your damage, Sableye. I don't fear you. Go ahead. Give me space for a Moltres. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I'm too hype, I'm too hype. I'll chill, I'll chill, I'll bring it back. Uh, so he's setting up numbers there that uh, for him to take knockouts and on multiple Pokemon potentially next turn. But, okay, sure, sure, spreading damage around. Sets up numbers for previous turns, so that's 90, 90 there. So my opponent looks like they're going to be going for a Greninja play next turn. Uh, I'm going to say no, and I'm going to throw down this Moltres... A full Moltres now has two energy on it. Yo, let's go. Uh, yeah, man. Oh my gosh, that's so cracked. Uh, I can Dark Patch to the Moltres as well. Or I can Dark Patch to the Darkrai. We have another Dire Flame Wings. Oh my gosh. Dire Flame Wings, give me another energy. Uh, oh, I guess I can't Dark Patch now, can I? 
Nah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, then I just Serena, gust out the, uh, the Raikou, take two prize cards. Uh, let's make sure I select the right option here. Bam. Uh, I don't even need to hit the Pokestop. I'm doing 360 damage. This is unnecessary. This is just unnecessary amounts of damage. Oh my gosh. I mean, I would say it's unnecessary, but it's not. I love to see these big numbers. And we get a Dark Cracker follow-up for next turn. That's so, so good. Yeah. And even if my opponent does manage to take these two prize cards next turn with a Greninja play... I could just follow it up with an attack from Darkrai. I've got one prize card left. Heck, even if he was able to take down my Darkrai, I could come in with this Moltres for 220 or this bad boy as well. So the Moltres is great. Both these Moltreses are super amazing, especially since you have multiple copies. So you can always attack with multiple Moltreses during a game. Because even if your opponent takes two prize cards, that ramps you up to 120, which is enough to take knockouts on low HP single prize Pokemon. So it helps you trade fairly effectively, the, the baby molts. Um, for sure. Oh, I'm not gonna lie though, we hit the gas turn one, got 240 turn two. I was very, very impressed. Yeah, they, they knocked out the Greninja last turn, but I'm like, at this point, Greninja did what it needed to do. Yeah, 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 bring your Greninja. Oh, fails the nest ball. He grabbed the Sableye off the Heavy Ball earlier. So... I'm not sure. Double Sableye? Sure, knock yourself out, buddy. I mean, you won't knock yourself out. I'll knock you out for you. You're welcome. I know. I'm, I'm too kind. I know, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we, have a, we even have a Dark Patch to keep... The, the one Dark Energy that he gets rid of, I'll be able to put it back in play. Yeah, he could just knock out this Moltres, but once again, it does not matter. He's chasing down these low HP Pokemon, and it's just not getting him anywhere. He's not getting far enough ahead by taking these one prize knockouts. It's really not helping him. Especially since I was able to have the double Gust play going. Yeah, that, oh my gosh, let's go Darkrai. All right, let's get one more game in here with Darkrai today, guys absolutely loving it i gotta be honest i'm still trying to find other decks that i can throw rev room in as a sub as a substitute for another draw engine you know uh is it better in this deck over b barrel because you know b barrel scrobit is a very solid draw engine right now a lot of people are using the just the company draw engine to power up not just their lost zone decks but other decks even like gudra so okay this start is interesting it's not great it's not terrible Let's see what we're playing against, though. Let's see what we're playing against. Our opponent flips a, jo a Jolteon B. What? Okay, I'm here for it. Uh, I'm going to hit this Pokestop, and I need a Nest Ball. Please? Please. Ooh, that was not great. I mean, I get a... You know what? I get I get a Dark Energy on my Moltres. I could potentially power up Moltres. Moltres could attack sooner... And could actually one hit kill the Jolteon. Definitely an option. But gosh, I have no draw support in this hand. Uh, I'm inclined to attach. To, I could always attach here. I'm actually going to attach to the Moltres. It feels kind of criminal, but I definitely think it's the way to go. Man, I would have loved to get myself a, uh, a Vavroom there. My opponent rips the Battle VIP pass, too. Chill, brother. Dang. I wonder what support they are playing for their Jolteon deck. I've considered playing Jolteon myself because I am a just... Honestly, I'm really loving Arvin. It's one of my favorite... Tuple Battle VIP pass? Okay, ignoring that. Uh, if you ignore it, it can go away. If you ignore it, it goes away. No, uh, I'm a big fan of Arvin, and Arvin is, what does he discard? Nice. Uh, Arvin can get you really important cards, like your specific st uh, badges, that are very impactful in the Jolteon deck. So, uh, I want to definitely try that out here very soon, because Arvin finds you that super important tool card that you need, so... I think it's a cool combination there. The Evolution badges in combination with Arvin. 
definitely something I want to explore. All right, sure, sure, sure. Now, I am scared of Jolteon VMAX. At the same time, I'm not super scared because I can one-shot a Jolteon VMAX with a little bit of luck then. So. We get a research off the top. I'm in there. Everything is good again. Everything is good in the world. Rip the research. Okay, not terrible. Not great. Not terrible. I can nest ball. Let's get out of Greninja. I want to get out of Varum as well. But I'm going to go with the Greninja so I can get extra dark energy in the discard pile. More dark energy in the discard pile I like to see. I'm going to Dire Flame Wings, get extra dark energy here. Then I'm inclined to just Ultra Ball away both darks. I could grab the Dark Right V-Star potentially. But it's just not enough. I don't have enough going this turn. I guess it doesn't hurt to evolve into the active, right? Well, I could always go here and then grab myself a Vavru to set my... Do I only have... Okay, no, I've got two. So I grab the Vavru and set myself up for next turn. I can attach return or I could save it to guarantee my draw here. I don't mind attaching it though, honestly. We'll attach it and then I'm going to hit the Pokestop. I feel, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to hit every something I need here. Oh, oh, that was an insane Pokestop. Oh, let's go. Do I want this? Ooh, do I want that over the Serena? Kind of like the option to have both. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'm going to actually choose to grab this. And then I can always belt the active. I, I'm not taking an, I'm not taking enough damage to get knocked out. I'm just gonna pass here. I think that this is okay. I could switch into Gren, but I kind of want the Gren to die. Yeah, we're just gonna pass. We're gonna pass. I think I'm in an okay spot this next turn. I plan on just ripping the research and going into my deck. This is a really interesting combo my opponent has going on here. They stack any one supporter they want at the top of their deck, and then they squo use Squobit to put their hand to the bottom to grab that single supporter. So, a really cool combination. I really like that. Escape rope. Uh, uh, I guess have the Greninja. He can take a knockout on the Greninja, right? What if I feed him the Moltres? I have the switch in my hand. Here, have the Moltres. Have the Moltres, man. He, but my opponent does need badge plus energy to get the knockout here. My opponent's got a very spicy deck here. You know, they use this to drop something to 100 and then go 100 knockout. Very, very spicy combo my opponent's got going on. Avery, brother, you are messing with me, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, he's, so he's stacked at the top. So what do I get rid of here? I get rid of my Darkrai and... I, do I just... I feel like I get rid of Gren, right? Yeah, I have to. That's unfortunate. Wow, my opponent actually got a gnarly hand. What's up with that? What do you discard? Haha, -ha, take that. What is he playing? What is this deck? Oh my goodness gracious, guys. What am I playing against? Yeah, that's right. Run away. Fear me. Well, let's see what we can get going on this turn. <clears throat> that Avery kind of hurt, I'm not going to lie. We still have a lot of momentum, though, going into this next turn for sure. Love Ball, okay, my opponent's just thinning down so they can draw extra cards off the Radiant Venu. Sure, man. Sure. Live your best life. All right, let's see what we get off the top. Ultra. Okay, well, that's all right. I want to play it, but I, that guarantees me some... I'm just scared, though, because I need, I need the Switch as well. I'm scared to play it. I'm not going to play it. I can't bring myself to play it. Woo! That's a lot of dark energy. Yoinks! Okay, trekking shoes. Yes, I do want that. Okay, we're in there, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Bam. Dire flame wings. Yo, this uh, this dark ride is about to, uh, about to start blowing stuff up. And then we can rumbling engine. This is why we kept the rumbling engine. <gasps> Double dark patch! Oh my god! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I'm good. I'm good. I'm cool. I need to hit another Nest Polar Ultra Ball just to get another Darkrai. Ow. Is that all my Darkrai V-Stars? Ow. Ah, <laughs> uh, that hurt a lot. Well, my opponent can't technically knock out Moltres, so I guess I can always knock out Moltres. My hand could get disrupted. Do I just double Dark Patch now? That seems like a scary idea. Because then I lose two dark energy. Although, is it really that big a deal? Because I could potentially just get... I haven't used my V-Star power yet. So I can always Star Abyss for another two dark patches next turn. I like it, I like it. Yo, we're doing 300 damage right now, guys. We're doing 300 with the belt. I'm sorry, with the belt we're doing 300. Um, yes. Just Yes. This Jolteon is as good as cooked right now. I'm about to have Jolteon for breakfast. Featherball, get yourself another Jolteon. It does not matter. This is what I'm talking about, though. Darker, I can really ramp up to some serious numbers. That don't affect me. I do not fear your Jolteon. Ooh. He does get an energy surge, which is nice. That guarantees him the energy. So he can always attach for turn to the active. He does need the badge still. That's the thing. My opponent still hasn't gotten the badge. Although they could always go do this. Tempting Tune into Squova to grab themselves like a Research or an Arvin. Arvin would be great because that guarantees them the badge. So I kind of like that. Okay, they're grabbing a Zisu. Uh, sure, sure. Nestash. All right, they've got the Z suit. Now they get to fill their hand. Uh, they get to draw actually a decent amount of cards here. Seven. Interesting. I mean, a research would have been just as good. So what do I know? My opponent continues to run away. You can't run forever. You can't run. He's trying though. Uh, although it is a bit scary. If I do lose this Moltres, I do lose a decent amount of stuff here. So. One set. Oh, my opponent's sm swinging up for the active. I'm very okay with this. Uh, we get switch cards. So I can always pal pad in Serena boss and just go for a boss play at the, to end the game, right? Because I, I, I do 300, right? 600, jeez. Um, I do enough to knock out the Jolteon, so I think I just want to chase that down this turn. Since I have the Dark Cry, this is the one turn where I will be able to chase down one of these big boys. All right, and then I can always attach here. And trekking shoes? Sure, we'll grab that. This will allow me to see what's left in my deck. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing is left in my deck. Oh, lordy. All right, well, I'm not gonna bench the mole trace. I could have, guess I could have gotten some energy going on it, right? I don't even wanna draw cards because I, I don't wanna deck out. Uh, but yeah, we, we did 330 here, which is really great. This is amazing. Bam! Take the knockout on my opponent's active at Jolteon VMAX. Take three prize cards. We do get another Darkrai. So if worse comes to worse, we can always attack with the Darkrai. I didn't pal pad last turn. I needed to pal pad. Bad Michael. Because uh, that, that way I could have drawn in potentially Boss or Serena and gusted around whatever my opponent had. Uh, I can still do it this next turn. It's not really that big a deal. But I could have potentially drawn into it, which would have been kind of nice. So... My opponent gets the Arvin. Finally snags the Arvin. I think they should have gotten that last turn, so they could have gotten an attack off. I see the combo they're going for here, of course, but I don't know if the Rapidash is quite worth it, if I'm being honest. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, I definitely have a way to get into... Yeah, I, I had so many cards to thin down. Rumbling Engine draw me cards. I definitely think I would be able to take down my last two pride car, prize cards from my opponent's spicy Jolteon deck. Nice Jolteon deck, bro. I love this uh, black card you're playing here. It's sick. <laughs> Yay, PTCG Live.
Man, Dark Raid kind of popped off today. I'm a huge fan of Turbo Dark, and as we saw today, the Rev Room actually puts in some serious work. The additional draw that you get from this card is really, really impactful since we've lost Crobat V as a playable card in the standard format. And this is a fantastic substitute while also doubling as a great way to discard our energy. I'm just, I'm actually really loving this card. I really want to find a way to incorporate this Rev Room in to other decks i am not going to lie if you guys do like this deck list though today the deck list will be down in the description you can just copy it import it right into ptcg live and you are all set for success if you have made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching you are absolutely top tier and we will catch you on the next one peace